Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're reacting to season two, episode eight of the Vampire Diaries titled Rose. Yo, I honestly just thought I had to think for a second. I was like, why do they have an episode named after old girl? But that's that was Pearl. Rest in peace, Pearl and Anna. So episode eight, Rose. Uh man, what happened in the last episode? It's been like a couple days. Okay. They that's right. They they pissed off they pissed off Cat, the kitty, because they killed Mason. Her her one vampire that she needed. Then what happened last episode? Like it wasn't fucking massive ordeal. So now Catherine wants Tyler. Tries to get Matt and company to to get him to turn at the uh, the masquerade party. They go there, all this wild shit happens. Tyler ends up pushing a girl after Matt was after him and Matt got well, Matt was fighting him because he was compelled. He pushed a girl, kills her. Tyler, his transformation, his first full moon, we'll see the first version of fucking puppy Tyler. Great. Uh but the big thing, the big, big thing is that the Salvatore brothers cornered, trapped, and locked down young Kitty. Only to attack her and find out about a doppelganger spell. Well, I mean, that wasn't necessarily that. A spell was put on her by a witch, another Bennett witch, that everything that happened to Catherine also happened to Elena, so they weren't able to kill her. So they had her trapped in a room, which was all thanks to young Caroline. Had her trapped in the room, and they did what they needed to do. They get hand over the Moonstone, Uno Reverse, choked her out, psychofraculated her, and then put her into the, uh, the dungeon. Put her into the tomb. So she's there. Damon was the one to close the lid on the tomb, which I love. And then at the end of the episode, uh, Elena gets gaffled by somebody in a mask. That's where we're at. So episode eight, we're going to get into Rose. If you guys are new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. There is a link to the Patreon, Twitch stream, everything else in the description box down below. And as you guys know, Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. I love him. Let's get into it. So immediately in the car, she got, she got gaffled in. Damn, bro, she slumped. Get ready to slumber. That guy looks oddly familiar with the uh, the curly hair. Who's Predator? Predator Pete right here. Ah, damn, bro. Hey, asking you shall receive. My man got himself a little meal. Get the caffeine in the system. Gotta wake up. Wake up. Get the system to wake up. Oh. Uh, and that werewolf road leads straight to Vampire Boulevard. I thought I was thinking fast. <laughs> got intertwining streets like a spaghetti junction. Amy's search party for Amy Bradley. They haven't found her body yet. Oh, teens today and they're underage drinking. Tragic. If you want to drop the hint to your mom that Amy's body's at the bottom of a ravine with a cracked spine, <laughs> might save your mom some time. Yo, if you want to drop a hint, let's give the exact fucking latitude and longitude of the location. Careful now there, angry Alan. I love that that's always the first sign that somebody's strong. Hey, Jeremy. What's up, Steph? Elena's gotta let me know if I'm supposed to cover for her. Bro, welcome to the Roach Motel, bro. That's a junkie house right there, bro. That's where people be. They be shooting up. Control yourself. Yo! Buzzkill. Hey, is that old girl from Twilight? I don't think so. I got me a crush. Game is Elena Gilbert. You don't have to do this. I know who you are. I said be quiet. What do you want? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Damn. I want you to be quiet. Hey, she ain't asking for much. Damn, she fucking slapped her. <laughs> One hit her, quit her. It's the truth. That's fair. No, no, no. Let me tell you how that's gonna go. We're gonna go ask her for help. She's gonna negotiate a release, which are gonna be dumb enough. Give her and then she's gonna get out and kill us. It's exactly what she wants. I don't really care. 
It's a bad idea, Stefan. It's Elena. It is, but I I agree with I agree with Damon. Connie. Ah, it's always the hand, bro. Mm. Have you ever like cut your hand? How bad that feels? You can't make a fist. You can't do a high five. You can't give a fucking nothing. Ah. Got you a little, a little blood bubble. There. Close to Winston Salem. That's three hundred miles away. No, Bonnie. Well, you, you better get the there. fucking. We can map it. Aerial view. It'll show us what's around there. Help us narrow down the area. Perfect. Dude, that fucking Salvatore shit, bro. Anyways, uh, oh, I like that. Look at Jeremy's face. Uh, fuck. What was I about to say? I like how. With all this supernatural shit, right? Everything going on. We have all this stuff happening. And then all these people with powers. And then Jeremy shows up and he's like, hey, bro, let me Google it. Jeremy's like the tech, the, the young tech lord of the group. He did the whole thing looking up the, uh, the, the, the Wolfsbane. He's constantly looking up different things. And now he's like, yo, I'm going to do an effing Google search aerial view, which they'll probably use fucking Bing. But still, I like it. The guy in the chair, basically, is his title. Hey. Bro, don't grab me like that. Yeah, see, I'll twist your shit up. I think I'm playing games with you. Fuck that ass, little boy. How did you... Don't look at her like that, bitch face. Step. Step. He has strong toes. Get out of there. Done kicked the whole titanium trash can across the parking lot. The Lark sure likes his weapons. What the hell is that? Is that a grenade? Oh, it's a vein bomber grenade launcher. Come on, express yourself. I happen to like road trip bonding. Keep it up, Stefan. I can step out of helping as easily as I step in. Nope. See, that's the beauty of it. You can't. Imagine if he just went outside the side of the car and just let that motherfucker keep going. I mean, obviously, Stefan get out too, but it'd be it'd be funny imagery. Look, I pulled this up based on that spot on the map. Imagine if they had newer phones, bro. They could have found this shit in nanoseconds. She's gonna be fine. I like this. You don't know that. This right here. This is this is Johnny. As there's your ship name. It's Johnny. I would say I would say bear me, but uh, it's too close to my whole gimmick. The whole name Jerry Bear. It's too close. I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> Bonnie. Bonnie. You need to take a nap. I wonder if that's because she's a reaching. Oh, night night. Bonnie. Trevor and I have been running for 500 years. Bro, I Tired. I can't help we it. it over. I got a crush. We're using you to negotiate ourselves out of an old mess. But why me? Because you're a Petrova doppelganger. Petrova. You're the key to breaking the curse. Petrova. Curse. The moonstone is what binds the curse. Sacrifice is what breaks it. Sacrifice. Damn, they going to effing. You're the doppelganger. You're the doppelganger. Ah! Which means in order to break the curse, you're the one that has to die. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's, let's we're gonna take a minute here. Hey, you might want to fucking fast forward or something. I don't know. This could be a second or three minutes. So, this whole I'm gonna try to piece this together properly right now because I can't wait and do this at the end of the show. I know a lot of people are like, hey, save some of the thoughts at the end. I can't because if I do, I don't want to forget anything I'm thinking right now. So. Catherine. Oh. So she needed the moonstone because it helps bind the curse, right? The sacrifice would would break it. But why? Why would Catherine want to stop the breaking of the curse? If something happens to Elena, would it also happen to Catherine? Is that why? Because she is the doppelganger. So Catherine, in a weird sense, has been 
protecting. I mean, obviously, because if she wanted Elena dead, she would have killed her a long time ago. She would have did the shit herself. I feel like, because they had that spell where anything that happened to Catherine happened to Elena, I wonder if there's a base set where if anything happens to Elena, it happens to Cat. Which I doubt, because maybe that's why she loves Stefan. She's just driving down the road and there's things happening. <laughs> I don't think that's the case. I don't. Uh, I'm, fuck, I'm awful. Man, my brain is really going like a thousand miles a minute right now because if the curse is broke, then werewolves can change in a moment's notice and vampires could walk in the sun. They could kind of live freely again. Which I get why they would want to break that curse then. I understand it, but why would you want to prevent it? So I guess Catherine was, again, we mentioned this earlier, trying to get a wolf, because wolves can kill vampires, to let to have something by her side to help stop these people from doing that? But then again, it also gives the ability for vampires to roam freely, like all of them. And they could go back to just gaffling people all the time. That's a real fucking problem. All right, that's it. That's all I had, I guess. Man, okay, I, I gotta just watch what happens. So they're trying to break the curse. And they gotta sacrifice Mom? Lil E. Mama. Ooh. Caroline, I adore you. I just want you to know that. Hey, bro, where's Matt? But I know. Don't circle around her. You're just like me. Is he about to take a nap? Is, he, is that why he's circling? No. A werewolf. Eh, guess again. Say it. Show them fangs. <laughs> Bro, she is adorable. Hey, bro, you're fucking up the goddamn. You made the same mistake countless others did. You trusted Katerina Petrova. Bro, that Catherine. just mm. her whole look, no, 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 bro. Me. That aesthetic. The first Petrova doppelganger. Petrova. I helped her escape her fate, and now I've, sorry, we've been marked ever since. Which is why we're not gonna make the same mistake again. Are they in a relationship? Are they brother and sister? Or are they just friends? I have so many questions. Are we? Is this gonna happen? Yeah, drink this. Is this like? Is this gonna happen? If you guys have watched my channel, boy, you know that there's a little bit of excitement boiling. It's nothing. Got a little note. Bonnie done teleported a whole sheet of loose leaf paper, bro. Getting close, Jeremy said there's a, an access road just past mile marker six. A little sip for the road. If you want some, just ask. I want some. Oh, it's so sweet. You want to be all big and strong, save your girl. Oh, don't worry, I've got your back. I'll be <laughs> not joking. Hey, bro. I've been drinking a little every day. Pass the, slowly pass the bottle, brother. A little sippy sip. Lena know you're drinking blood? Yo, she be helping me, bro. Hold that gang shit. Fuck yeah, he's scared. And don't make a sound. Hey, bro. Palms are sweaty, knees weak. I don't know if he's had any spaghetti or not, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's old boy. Yo, that's why I know him. I was like, bro, why do I keep, why do I know the Elijah name? That's old boy. Yo. All right. If you guys know, I watched some fucking, on my, my my gaming channel before I split up the channels, I watched a lot of these react, this is why I'm watching the shows, because I watched a lot of the tributes and stuff, which I don't remember jack shit about him other than like one character in specific, who I'm like, where he at though, Elijah is a fucking Michelson. I'm like, alright, they keep saying the word originals, hint hint, show, goosebumps, but Elijah, isn't that Klaus's... My man showed up in the fucking suit, though. Oh, this just got interesting. Way more interesting than it needs to be. Rosemary. Is there somewhere we can talk? Rosemary. Why is everybody's middle name Marie? In here. 
Yeah, I have to forgive the house. It's either Marie or Renee. I completely understand. So tell me. Or Lynn. That gives you the courage to call me. Or Ray. I wanted my freedom. She didn't burn in the church in 1864. That got his attention so quickly. Continue. I have a doppelganger. That's impossible. Her family line ended with her. I know that for a fact. Well, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know shit about fuck, little buddy. <laughs> we'll show her to me. She looks like, I'm sorry. She looks like a mix of that Ashley Green chick. Was that her name? Ashley Green, the girl from Twilight. And also Maggie from The Walking Dead. She looks like a mix of those two people. She could be either one of those. She's definitely not the Ashley girl. Now that I'm looking at it, she looks more like Maggie from Walking Dead. My God. Damn, boy, you're so fast. She was fucking skipping frames. I thought he was going in for the creepy smooch, bro. Don't do that. Human. If you want to stay here, I'll totally understand. He didn't really bat an eye, bro. He's like, hey, this is how I go out, bro. This is how I go out. Oh, we have a long journey ahead of us. We should be going. It's in the name of love. One last piece of business. I think Rose got a little bit. Of, Rose got a little bit of sympathy there for. Uh, oh, yes, you are the guilty one. Rose aided you because she was loyal to you. That I honor. It, Where was your loyalty? Hey, bro, Trevor gone, dog. I beg you T Rever, Predator Pete. So yeah. Damn, he's like, oh. <laughs> <Don't. Don't>. <laughs> <laughs> Now that you're free, come. Oh, what about the moonstone? <laughs> what do you know about the moonstone? He slapped his fucking noggin off. Bro, he just took a Louisville slugger to his fucking... His hand was the Louisville slugger. Ooh! Bro, run that back. Play it again. Where was your loyalty? Oh, my fuck. <laughs> Wait. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bink! <laughs> oh... God. Come. Oh, what about the moonstone? Yo, they say the executioner is the one that swings the sword, but my man's swinging fucking karate chops. You know about the moonstone? What is that? So, I'm gonna do a quick pause again just to say before it gets too fast. Is it's interesting to note that he was able to grab the vervain with his hands, like there was no sizzling or burning sound, but it's still obviously prevented him from compelling her so hey bro just fucking pick her up down here <laughs> that guy is my fucking place oh oh he said yeah i ain't playing with your petty games get that shit about my hand boy now you don't piss me off oh fuck hey damon don't look at her like that My man's out here slapping muffin caps back blue, bro. Y'all need to get. We understand each other. What game are you playing with me? Hey, bro. Damn, fucking Vervain flashbang. Oh, so he is. Ooh. Oh, that shit hurt at you, didn't it? Not that bad, though. Not that bad. They got the glizzy. <laughs> God damn, bro, he's like the fucking Terminator. Ooh, Stefan. <laughs> Yo, nah, nah, nah. That's not, that's not how that goes down. That's just not how that goes down. That boy ain't gone. He ain't dead. I love to see that, man, because they had a little bit of an out when Jeremy found everything. Enough stuff. It's late. No need to rehash that. Well, you know what? I've never said it out loud. Let him speak, man. 
I guess I just need to say it and you need to hear it. I'm I, sorry. That struck a nerve. What I did was selfish. I didn't want to be alone. Struck a nerve. I guess I just need my brother. It was is it at least it helps. It was selfish. Like it was. He he didn't want to be alone. He wanted his brother to be with him. He just wanted his brother to also be like him. Uh, my eyelashes are sticking together. Again, bro, I just woke up. It was selfish, and for him, I know he he say, apologized for the Catherine stuff like a couple episodes back, but to apologize for being the one to turn him. I think he did need to say it loud, and Damon did need to hear it. So I, I just, it's cute. All right, dude, Elijah ain't dead, though. For who? Us. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> Yo. That sent, like, a, a wave. Like, a cold wave over my entire body. Thank you. It's just a diva shirt and some sweatpants. You just need to hear it. I love you, Blair. And it's because I love you that... Yo. I can't be selfish with you. Why you keep doing this? I don't deserve you. But my brother does. You don't have to forget this, but you do. God, that fucking single tear coming out. Yeah, I was about to say, you better. I'm so curious about this right now. I mean, it's pinned up against the wall. <laughs> What's in your head? In your head, yeah, zombie, zombie. Yeah, my man is strong. He's strong. Holy shit. Let's, un let's unpack this. Let's unpack this, dude. <laughs> let's fucking unpack it, dude. <laughs> Yo! Okay. Holy shit, bro. I am like, uh. Listen. I, one thing I do like about the, the show, again, people always say how they pack a whole worth of stuff into a single episode. I love that the show picked up right where the last episode picked off. It wasn't like there were discussions and going back and forth and somebody was like, Elena was kidnapped. And then, then we cut to it. No, I was like, we got the transaction, handed her over. We get introduced to new vampires that's been out running, ducking and dodging. We get introduced to Rose, who I'm almost 100% positive is the girl that plays Maggie from The Walking Dead. And here's what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to look it up. And that is her. See, the cool thing is, is I can I went to Walking Dead, clicked on her, Laura Cohen, and then just scrolled until I saw the Vampire Diaries. Because if I go to the Vampire Diaries, I'll see every damn face possible, and I don't want that. Okay. Yeah, for a second, I thought... I guess the girl's name was, I think her name is Ashley Green from Twilight. But then the more I looked at her, I just got confused with the two faces. Her two completely different people, not a thing about it. Anyways, regardless. We get introduced to Elijah, who, again, from the, the tributes I've watched in the past, I know is a Michelson. So the originals are coming early, way sooner than I thought that they would. I think Rose had a soft spot there for Elena a little bit when she said, free me. Bonnie has been using too much mana. She is low on mana. She is oom. Um. She needs a nap and some blue juice. Road trip bonding. We get, we get in Johnny. I, thought, I feel like Johnny may be a thing at some point. I do. I could be wrong. But I feel like we may get Johnny. We may get a Jeremy and Bonnie style something. I don't know. I just I feel it in my jellies. 
the the Connie Tyler interaction is unique because Connie's doing exactly what she's told not to do, which is befriend Teeler because he's a wolf, right? I I I think that I think it could be beneficial for everybody. I think for now, she she keeps it to herself that it's just her. She doesn't need to be talking about anybody else that's in that case. Because Tyler is a bit of a douche. And they gotta keep that secret and they gotta make sure that he's not gonna tell anybody. I do think her telling him would make him feel less alone, but at the same time, I don't give a fuck about his emotions. So the road trip bonding, they shared a, a juice pouch together. You love that. You you always share your juice pouch with the homies. Like, that's a whole other level of bonding. If I pass you the Capri Sun, if I pass you, if if, if I'm a kid and I pass you my pouch, that means that means I want you to be hydrated and I want you to get in on the deliciousness that is this Capri Sun. Remember the old Capri Sun commercials where people turn to like liquid? And they would like skate around like Silver Surfer. I was pissed off I couldn't do that. And then they had the weird gusher commercials where people's head would explode. <laughs> God, dude. I, dude. I think Rose is my crush so far in this show, man. Rose showing up like, hey, I can help you. Klaus is coming. K. Laus. Killer Klaus. Dude, I'm, I'm so excited for... For that. Again, I don't remember anything from the tributes. A lot of people are like, hey man, I know you watched all these. I hope nothing I spoiled for you. And I'm like, yo, I watched so much, but I don't remember anything other than like Klaus killing people. But I don't remember who he even killed. Like I just remember him doing a bunch of like, we're family speeches. And like, that's about it. The the two main things as we wrap this up is, dude, I still got eye boogies and crust. Is Damon talking to... Elena there at the end, like, listen, like, I love you, and because I love you, I can't be, I can't be selfish anymore, like, I don't deserve you, my brother deserves you, and now I'm going to cycle fraculate your memory, and I'm going to give you a necklace back, I think he just had to say that out loud, and I think it's, there's two parts of me, because one part, I'm always in the middle of everything, because I feel like, it may have been beneficial for Elena to know that. I think it would have gave her some peace of mind that, hey, he this guy does love me, but at the same time, he's understanding of the situation and wants me to be with his brother and we can help get our friendship back. But then again, it kind of blurs the lines of friendship when you know those feelings are there too. So I just think Damon had to say it. it's the same thing as Stefan led him into having that conversation because Stefan's like, I'm sorry. I I needed to say this and you needed to hear this. And now Damon goes to Lena with the same approach of, hey, I need to say this, you need to hear this, but you can't remember it. And then obviously the biggest moment for me of this entire show was Elijah smacking the absolute piss out of Trevor. Literally snapped him into the future, the dead future. Listen, I can see coming back from the stake, you know, you're strong. You're you're hella strong, but there's then again I saw I saw a Pearl get she got hit right in the right in the chesticles and she went down hard and she didn't come back. I saw Anna get stabbed and they didn't come back and I love them both. So why so why this fucking Nazi looking motherfucker gets stabbed, pinned up against the wall, and is able to come back is beyond me. Beyond me. I know we'll find out, but him slapping that dude. <laughs> that's some wild shit, man. It kind of makes me like, all right, well, these people have died. Like, what's your secret there, brother? You got a ring or something? Does he have a ring? Does he have a necklace? Is it those draws I was talking about? Remember, them sunproof draws, I think, is a great invention that if somebody just told me there were vampires, I would become a witch doctor myself and I would, I would, I would make some uh a fruit of the loom uh, the blood fruit blood fruit pants blood fruit underwear passion fruit I have a lingerie brand called passion fruit and then we'd have like 
blood fruit, which is like your every normal everyday draws, comfortable boxers, briefs, whatever you're into, any style of underwear for the ladies. And then you want a thong, you want boy shorts, I got you. But then we also have like the passion fruit. Why am I still talking about this? It, undergarments that protect you from the sun, so you need a fucking ring. It's basically my whole point for all that. My mind is going everywhere else. So <laughs> maybe that. Maybe we get immortality draws, you know? I'm just saying it's a smart idea, and people need to be thinking outside the box. I'm going to go wrap up the video. The next episode is called Katrina. Katrina Petrova. My accent doing that is probably terrible, but I like giving it a shot. It's just like uh, Pietro from WandaVision. Anyways, I'm so white. Look, I'm going to go ahead and bounce out. Links everything in the description box down below. Playlist up on screen. As always, guys, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.